Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerman back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about why, uh, about misconceptions about the sign Taurus. And the first thing I want to get on is that there's uh, people that seem to think that Taurus is known to be not, a not so intelligent sign. And I'm going to want to do uh, talk about some things to clear that up. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that all people have to do is look at some of, some of the people uh, that have Taurus prominent, prominently placed in their horoscope, whether it's the sun, moon, or rising, and they can see some people that are actually brilliant that have uh, this in their horoscope. And first uh, example I want to state is that uh, you might have heard of this person, Nikola, Nikola Tesla. And he was one of the greatest uh, innovators uh, that ever lived, and he had Taurus rising. And uh, very ingenious, had a patent on numerous inventions. And uh, you look at, um, I'll give you some other examples. Uh, Jeff Fisher, who is the head coach of the National Football League St. Louis Rams, has his moon in Taurus. And he's one of the shrewdest coaches out there, and one of the better ones overall. He arguably is one of the top five coaches in the NFL. And you got to have certain intellect to root to be able to coach on the National Football League team. Uh, another example: uh, some of you may have heard of him. Uh, some of the people that are around my age and older, uh, Pat McAnally. I know if I'm pronouncing that right, Pat McAnally. He uh, was a professional uh, NFL football player, and he scored on a, it was a cognitive uh, mental aptitude test for football players, and I should say for potential or prospective players. And he is the only one that had a confirmed uh, perfect score on there, and he was, lo and behold, a son in Taurus, May 7th, 1953. And uh, obviously, it takes certain intellect to be able to do this. Uh, there's some uh, other, there's some actors, uh, prominent actors that have had the sun, uh, moon, or Taurus rising. Uh, Tony Danza, sun and Taurus. You may have heard of him. Uh, who's the boss in Taxi? He's most known for. Uh, Humphrey Bogart, legendary actor, had Taurus rising. And George Papard, another great actor, had his moon in Taurus. Uh, another person, uh, Joe Morgan, who is a famous uh, professional baseball player, he was referred to as like the smartest player that uh, from Tim McCarver, another baseball player. Uh, Tim McCarver had stated he was like the smartest player he had ever um, been had been around or, or at least played with uh, during his uh, career. And the thing about Taurus is it's not so much that Taurus is, is Taurus is not a stupid sign. What Taurus is, Taurus is very methodical, and what they do is they sometimes they take their time in processing the information, and they want to be able to uh, make sure when they're working on a job or task, they want to do it right. So therefore, they're very detail oriented. Taurus can actually be very analytical and articulate. Uh, they can verbalize things very well, and what they want to do is they want to make sure that a job gets done thoroughly. It looks like they can be plotting, and they look like they're, they they can be very deliberate in what they do. But if you want a job done accurately, you give it to somebody that is a Taurus, I believe. And the thing about um, Taurus as well is that uh, another misconception is about them possibly holding a group uh, of people down, such as a work uh, situation, a work group. Now the thing about Taurus is that, as many of you know, Taurus is very industrious and hardworking. Now Taurus may not get as much accomplished like in the early part of the job, say as like an Aries or Gemini who could, might work at a very uh, fast, um, very quick pace. But Taurus will, more likely than not, on average, they will accomplish more in the long run because Taurus has sustained uh, energy and, and they have great uh, powers of endurance. So when you look at Taurus people, 
they don't always appear like they they might not be doing uh, doing much or they're not going really like super fast like some other signs are but because of their persistence dogged effort their determination they generally will accomplish more and they see jobs to the bitter end uh, more so than than most signs and I think uh, Taurus is, is almost in indefatigable. They just can, they they just work tirelessly. I mean, uh, a Taurus has uh, I think nearly unbridled loyalty as well. And we'll look at a Taurus. They're not as far as them holding any kind of a group down. I really don't see this as being uh, being true at all. But the misconception about that is because. They might appear like they're slower than as far as moving as a lot of other suns, but they, like I stated, they do more as far as the long run uh, goes as opposed to uh, other signs out there. And Taurus is just a sign that just works very hard, uh, vigorously. They have the ability to be punctual and reliable and they're known for their stolidness and this is a sign that comes through for you when a lot of other people uh, will not do that and I want to go back to one thing uh, when I was talking about the Taurus and the intellect before that a lot of the renowned actors have Taurus prominently placed in their chart and it does take certain memorization uh, and ability to remember and retention of information to be able to uh, say their lines and, and really and, and also be able to say them in a way where the, I guess you could say where they really take on that character that they're portraying. So it does take certain intellect to be able uh, to do that. There's more on they, there's more of an intellectual side to the um, to acting than a lot of people uh, believe there is. I think and. You really got to have a pretty good memory to remember some lines, especially when you have a lot of sentences to say in one uh, particular scene. So, anyway, that's basically what I wanted to get on as far as this thing about uh, Taurus. And as far as if is there such a th I don't know if there's such a thing as the dumbest uh, astrological sign or the one that has the weakest I intelligence. I, I do, um, I think there may be the uh, smartest astrological sign, and I'll be talking about that in a future video. Well, anyway, people, uh, this is Edwin Leonard, and uh, I want to just uh, state um, this will conclude this video, and um, stay tuned next time, where I'll be continuing uh, my South Node uh, series um, and aspects uh, to the South Node in a natal horoscope. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well.